bit of news out from Argentina this morning, morning New Zealand time, that uh, Gonzalo Quesada has decided to leave the Juarez. He's their head coach. He's decided to take up a role over in France, back with Stade Francais, where he used to coach. Because nobody really knows what's happening with the Hawares at the moment. Uh, the most recent news that I read from the Hawares was that they would basically instructed their, um, their players. They didn't really talk about the staff, but I guess it makes sense. Anybody who's associated with the Hawares to kind of look for other options in terms of continuing their career. So I think most of us were kind of expecting an exodus of players to seek contracts abroad where they were more likely to get a game because at the minute Super Rugby is about to get underway in New Zealand, Australia got their thing going on, if South Africa can get something going on, you've got to think that it's probably going to be the Hawares that are the guys left out of whatever arrangements initially get set up. So there's not going to be any game time for them. The Sunwolves have already been confirmed to be history. So I guess in terms of the future for these guys and making a living doing the sport that we love, they they had the sensible uh, you know recommendation that they would listen to any requests from players to to take up contracts elsewhere. So yeah, it's the coach. It's the coach that's gone. That's interesting that he's kind of been picked up before any of the players. And um, yeah, he's going back to Stade Francais. He he apparently, from what I read, and a lot of this is through Google Translate from the Spanish press, he apparently has like an offer to return. He had an offer to return to Stade Francais. Uh, he's going to replace Heine Kamaya as head coach. Obviously, he had a pretty successful run uh, when he was coach of Stade Francais. Previously, they haven't been on the best run as of the previous season. I think Matera and um, Sanchez are already over there, so there's a bit of an Argentinian connection. As I said, he used to work at the club, I think, until 2017. So he's been there for a while. Uh, but the Argentinian uh, Rugby Union have said that there's an opportunity for him to return to Argentina, that the doors of the UAR, which is their rugby union, are, are always open. But I'm not sure, man. It seems like once he's gone... I can't, I can't at least at the minute see him going back, which is really disappointing because I mean, last year, he's the guy who led the team to the super rugby final against the Crusaders. They ended up losing that one, but it was a magnificent season from those guys. And like the initial couple of years for the Hawares weren't the best. And then Ledesma took over as head coach. You felt they, they upped their game. And then when Quesada took over, they really did hit their potential and it was quite a contrast to see them at the World Cup because they they were quite disappointing, the Pumas. I know it's different teams, but largely made up of the same contingent. So it was a very deflating one to see their performance at the World Cup. A lot of people, I think, talked about uh, wanting, I mean, this is probably just fan talk, but they would have preferred to see Quesada at the head of the, uh, at the Pumas rather than Ledesma. He does seem to have elevated the guys, to that next level, but uh, as I said, Kade uh, Quesada being at, I um, almost said Kedesa, uh, Ledesma and Quesada put together, um, him being in Argentina seems like a pretty, a pretty far step away at the moment. I had read about, and mostly from, from some of you guys who, who commented about the situation in Argentina, commented that there was a bit of tension between Quesada and Ledesma. Uh, seemingly more from Ledesma's side. So maybe this is also a factor in uh, Quesada's decision as well. I know he was a passionate coach. Um, you know, he was very upset last year when the game against the Highlanders was called a draw right as the season was about to be called off. Uh, but I guess that's all kind of irrelevant now in the long term anyway. But um, yeah. So yeah, he's back to France. As I said, there's a possibility for him to return, but I guess they have to say that in the press conference. What is also going to be one to watch is which of the players are going to follow. I think Lucas Mensa has already taken up a contract in, in France to play in the D2. And there's been a bunch of guys linked with other clubs. Emiliano Buffelli is the main one who seems to be linked with a deal to Racing 92. Uh, there's been talk of Montoya from the article I read just now. I don't, I'd heard about the Buffelli one before on Twitter, but... Uh, Montoya has been linked, uh, Petty has been linked, there'll be more. 
there will be more. So it's one we'll watch with interest. Uh, Kremer was another one that they mentioned. Uh, it's, as I said, pretty disappointing because he did lift the team. And you like to think if he'd had a bit more time, maybe he would have been able to take the, the Hawaiis to another level. And um, potentially maybe one of these days take over at the Pumas. But that's still, that was long term. And at the minute... Nobody know what the knows what the short to medium term future is, let alone the long term. So, yeah, we'll wait and see uh, what happens at the Hawaiis. This future is kind of uncertain at the moment. We have to wait. I mean, it's a situation for the whole world, but it's one to watch. It's particularly disappointing because, it's, like I said, he was just a really smart and um, you know efficient coach who, who who got the best out of his players. So. Yeah, pretty disappointing, but uh, you guys in Argentina, let me know if you've got any further insights. I'm just going about what I read from ESPN and another another news source this morning. Uh, I'm sure there's more to it, but um, yeah. What do you guys reckon about this? Is there any potential candidates to take over at the Hawaiis? Maybe it's too early to be talking about that because, you know, who knows when they're going to be playing again. And um, how do you reckon he's going to go at Stade Francais? I can't imagine anything but him improving lifting the squad kind of back to the levels he had them at before but anyway you guys let me know your thoughts and i'll talk to you again soon see you later